Well, and today I am back and I am so bummed because it's been like a month since I filmed something and I have a few specific children that have been pestering me um, to make another one. So here I am. I'm here. I'm so pumped. Yay! But anyway, today we are here to talk about something very beautiful. And basically I have bought a few things over the past month um, that I wanted to share with you guys and talk about because that's fun. So let's do it. About the true face. If you follow me on social media, especially on Twitter, you would know, link will be down below, just you know, self promo. Um, you'll know that I have wanted this palette for so freaking long. As soon as uh, there was rumours that this was coming out, I was in, I was like, yes, I want the pink colours, I want all of this, I want it to smell like peaches, yes, I, I, I am in. It's been a while since it was actually released. But because I'm in Australia, it has taken a lot longer to get here because Mecca is the main kind of like peoples that distribute Too Faced and it only just came out here. It came out I think a couple days ago and so we got it. This is what the packaging looks like for the palette. It is so, so pretty. Well, Too Faced wins the packaging because it is just it's just got the gold. The name states it's meant to smell like peaches. And boy, it delivers. Put it here, and I can still smell the peaches. For some, that might be a bit off putting because it's so potent. So, if you don't like that overly smelly kind of makeup y thing, then this might not be the thing for you. But I freaking love it. And my lordy lord, this is what it looks like. It has the most beautiful colors ever. There's a lot of pinks, and I'm a big fan of pink at the moment, especially I love a good pink eyeshadow. It has a variety of different colors. It has like lights and then neutrals, but then purples and pinks. Honestly, I've been having so much fun playing around with these colors because they are just amazing. First off, I can tell you right off the bat that I have been loving the color Georgia Luscious and just peachy. George is just a nice like soft pink and it's a really nice base color for your lid and I just I love it. I'm wearing it today. Luscious is a really nice um, pinky metallic -y color and then just peachy is very very pink um, but it has a gold undertone and it is so beautiful. I just... yeah. I am yet to try all the colors. I'm trying to be very gentle in using it um, so that it does look pretty new. Um, because I really want to take pictures of it and I wanted to show you guys and I didn't want it to look like a hot mess So uh, yeah, I've been careful, but it's just it is so 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 beautiful and I it was worth the way it is just like all Too Faced eyeshadows, they are really pigmented, they're really nice and velvety feeling, they all have pretty good colour payoff. Apart from the darker colours, I feel like the darker colours are something that you have to build up a bit, but otherwise the colours are beautiful, they just, Too Faced always delivers and I am so excited about this palette and using it more. And you will be seeing very, very soon after this a swatches video on the Sweet Peaches palette because I really haven't. Um, gone through properly and looked at every single color on its own. Yes, definitely look forward to that. Okay, so my mum went to the shops the other day and she was looking at the palette. We had ordered it online, but she just wanted to have a little look see at it without me. I know how rude. <laughs> she called me down to her room. She's like, it's well, come here. And then she handed me a little box. She's like, this is for you. Um, and it was wrapped up really nicely. I'm like, what? I thought I'd just do something silly. Usually, you know, when she goes to the shop, she'll give me a gift and it'll be like, um, I don't know, a thing of olives that she bought me because she knows I like olives or something like that. And she's like, I got you a present. And so I was like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. And then I open it and to the love and behold, she'd gotten me the Too Faced Totally Obsessed kit, I guess you'd call it, which comes with a bronzer. Um, a shadow insurance, face primer, hangover, a melted lipstick, and the Better Than Sex mascara. And I was, I, I did a little squeal, I danced, I was pumped, because I've been wanting to get pretty much all of these products. So thanks mom. And I have heard great things about all of these products, so I was really, really excited to use them. And so I have started using all of these apart from one, and I shall start talking about them. Chocolate. Salil bronzer. It's a matte bronzer um, and it's in the color medium to deep. It comes 
like this and it just has a little pan as it for contouring as well as a bit of bronzer I thought I was a bit like oh it's medium to dark I don't know if it will be too dark on my face because I am quite pale but no this is the perfect color <laughs> just that right amount where you can build it up to make it darker but if you can still make it quite subtle so yes I've been absolutely loving that the past couple days so far it's so good but next was the Melted Too Faced Liquefied Longwear Lipstick and it is in the colour Chihuahua, I believe. I'm sure my friend got for her birthday the same colour and she was raving about how it's such a nice colour. It looks really good on her so I was like, yes, I will have to get this colour at some point. And of course, this was the one that was in the box. So that was really exciting. It's only all the, um, whatchamacallits, all the products in this box are only travel size but they are actually really good sizes, I think. Um, and I've got it on today. I wouldn't say it's completely long wear because I do have to reapply it throughout the day at least once, but it still does stay on my lips quite nicely. The applicator, which I'm sorry is a little messy because I have used it, is really nice to use. It's really easy. I find I don't need to be too precise to get a decent, um, applications. I've been wearing it because I just, I love the colour. It's a bit more brown toned than what you would think it appears um, on the packaging. I would suggest if you are looking at the melted lipsticks that you go in store and swatch them for yourself if you can just because it wasn't exactly the colour that I thought it'd be. You might want to test it out just so you know what you're getting yourself into. I will definitely uh, buy another melted lipstick whether it be the matte one or this one after I run out of this or just because I can. This is iconic, everyone talks about it. I have seen so many people using this mascara and I've wanted to get my hands on it for so long to see what all the fuss is about and of course it's a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's been a little travel size and I've been using it for the past couple of days and so far I quite like it. I can't say that it's better than sex, I don't, okay I'm not going to say anything, no I'm not going <laughs> to, let's just leave it at that. I do see um, why there is a cult following behind this mascara because it is a really nice mascara. The formulation is very nice. It doesn't clump up your lashes together, but it definitely does uh, lengthen them. It makes them look thicker and longer, and I do quite like the formulation. Um, I think, though, personally, that the hype is more around the brush, because I absolutely love the brush. The brush just gets in everywhere, and it's really easy to use, even in this little little applicator more than once. I probably wouldn't buy this again just because you need to replace your mascara at least once or twice a month and this is not cheap to buy um, and I think you could get a really similar look and um, results from cheaper drugstore mascaras. So yeah, that, that's my thoughts. And then I got two primers. I have the Hangover Face Primer. I've been yet to use this but it comes out as just like a white little cream. Oh, it feels nice. So I can say that you would not need a lot of that because I only had like a little bit and that spread out like pretty much all across my hand. I can't tell you whether um, it does the job or not, but it's Too Faced, so I assume it'd be pretty good. We have the Shadow Insurance. I only just used it this morning. I feel like my eyeshadow has stayed pretty well. Definitely this one, you need the tiniest amount for both your eyelids. I used about a tiny dot and I got my whole both lids covered. I will get back to you on whether I think this is 24 hour and whether it's any crease, but so far it's doing the job and the packaging is cute, so who cares? So overall, I think this little package thing is definitely worth it. You get a range of products and it was only, I think, $35, which for the amount of stuff you get, I think is pretty good um, and lets you like have a little taste of, oh, oh, I didn't realize this was a thing. I think this is quite nice and I'm so pumped to use it more or the products in it more not the box um, so I heard a lot of people at school talking about this and I was like you know what it's not super pricey it, I think it was only $15 
and for the amount you get, you know, it's pretty good and I'll try it out and if it isn't, it was, you know, it's a backup of something. And it is the Sports Girl Glow With It Highlighter. And no joke, this is the best $15 I've spent in a while. It is such a beautiful highlighter, I wear it almost every day. I'm sure there's better highlighters out there, but going from like a quality to price ratio, it is really like such a good product for $15 from Sports Girl. And yeah, it is actually so pretty. It's, you can build it up quite a lot. I really, really like it. And I would recommend if you are starting out and want to get a highlighter and you don't want to spend too much money, I would definitely recommend the Sports Girl highlighter for you. Yes. <laughs> Lastly, but definitely not least, my lord, I have been wanting to get this for so long and it is the MAC Bullet Lipstick in the colour... Wait for it. Russian Red. I know that one of the most popular colours that MAC has in lipsticks is Ruby Woo and I was looking at that and I was umming and ahhing because I have been to a few times the MAC store, my local one, um, looking at the colour like should I buy it, should I not, what should I get um, and I finally decided on Ruby, well not Ruby Woo, <laughs> on Russian Red um, just because I really really liked the colour. Ruby Woo is that bit brighter. Um, and Russian Red's a bit darker, a bit deeper. It is definitely long lasting. I wore it to my friend's birthday party and it lasted all throughout the night. I was singing my little hotter, I was dancing, I was eating, I was talking and it lasted the whole night. I didn't have to reapply at all and it looked perfect at the end. So I was super, super happy with this lipstick and it's just something that I think I will have for a very long time. And I just love it. So yeah, I'm super pumped about using this more often. The sad thing is I can't wear my red lipstick every day because I don't know how well that would go down, me going to school with red lipstick, you know. That was pretty much it. That's what I have accumulated over the last month. I've been super happy with all these products. I could not, I don't have anything bad to say about them. Um, so which is good. I like being positive. <laughs> Um, give this video guys a like if you enjoyed, comment down below, tell me if you have any of these products, I would love to talk about them, see what you guys think, I love talking about makeup so yes, please do. Um, you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, the links will be down below, I talk about random crap, it's fun, and of course you guys can subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and until next time, bye guys!